My name is Brittany Purcell, and I'm an aesthetics learning leader at Palm Metro School, Sacramento. I'm here today to show you some advanced facial massage techniques that you can bring into your treatment room. Now, most of the time, people only focus on working out our body muscles. Now, you need to understand that it's really important to work out our facial muscles as well, and this is what that advanced facial technique is going to do. It's really going to work out those facial muscles, because when we do that, we're gonna stimulate blood flow. So we have nutrients in our blood, and when we stimulate that blood flow, it's gonna bring it closer to the skin to make the skin more healthy and radiant. We're also gonna be stimulating collagen and elastin as well, and that's gonna help smooth out fine lines and wrinkles. Where last but not least, it's gonna hydrate the skin. And when we hydrate the skin, it's gonna give that plump and smooth look to the skin, just to make the skin look absolutely radiant and glowing. This massage is going to be great for pretty much all skin types, but amazing for your dry, lackluster skin, mature skin, or even dehydrated skin. So keep watching and I hope you enjoy. So I'm always gonna start on the forehead. And what I like to do is I'm taking the palm here of my hand as well as the side of my thumb and I'm dragging up the client's forehead. And I'm using a good amount of pressure, not too much, but not really those light feathery movements that you would use in effleurage, just a little bit deeper than that. Just not too much because you don't want to damage any collagen or elastin. So I'm gonna go ahead and just really smooth out any lines that they have on their forehead here. Then I'm gonna go and we can focus more on if somebody had the wrinkle right here in between that brow, the corrugator muscle. We're gonna go ahead and with our thumbs, it's like we're cutting across a muscle. So we're going to cut across. So if a line is going vertically like that, we're gonna cut across this way. If lines are going, for example, on the forehead, we are going to cut across that way. So you're always going to go on the opposite end of the wrinkle. So then I'm really gonna focus on this area. Then I can go ahead and focus on any kind of horizontal forehead lines. So we can cut across here with our thumbs. Another option you can do is taking your palm like this and as you're sliding across, use your thumb as like you're almost kind of erasing them. Then you can turn their head to one side, and we're gonna be working on this, this side of the face. So, and then anybody who had it in crow's feet, okay, you can definitely cut across those. So coming around the eye. So this finger is just doing this. It's just going around the eye. And this finger is just literally doing this. But when you come across, you when they join together, they're gonna to cut across that crow's feet line. Then you can turn their head and come across the other way. Then you're gonna go ahead and have them turn their head to the front. And then what we're gonna do what we call um, the sinus drains. So it is a movement, it's a one that you kind of have to practice, you wanna start slow. So you wanna go one finger, two, three, four, and then bring these thumbs down to drain. And we're gonna be doing it a little bit faster eventually, but you always start with one, two, three, four, and then bring your thumbs down. So eventually it's going to look like this. So I'm draining all of that sinus, bringing that towards the lymph nodes and draining it. And 
Then you could turn the client's face to the side here and then do it from the side. So these, it's one, two, three, four, and bringing your thumb across. So I'm just doing these little pinching movements. This is gonna be very stimulating. Going up and down. And then I can roll it back and drain it. And then just drain everything back. And then I can really work on that smile line, also known as the nasal labial fold. So really cutting across that line. And then going up back and draining everything. And you can even drain it down. So I'm gonna come up, drain down the neck. This is going to help bring all that lymph to the lymph nodes. And then I can go ahead and turn their head to the other side. And then start again here. So I'm gonna go ahead, one, two, three, four, push back. And then I'm gonna start draining it back. And again, cutting across that nasal labial fold. And then continuously draining everything back. And we can even, again, now drain down the neck. Okay, then we can go ahead and bring their face to the middle. And then do that drain again, sinus drain. And you can even come to the ears. This is usually one of the best parts for the clients. And then I always like to end it with a nice scalp massage because the whole purpose of this too is working out the muscles on your face, but your face muscles are attached to your scalp muscles. So it's always good to really relax the scalp muscles by working that area as well. So you never want to forget about the scalp massage. So I always like to end with that. And my little thing is a lot of estheticians, they like to stay with their hands behind the head. And 
then the client's really only getting two fingers. So they're only getting this. I like to kind of work from the back. So that way I have all 10 of my fingers working together. And I can even turn their head and really just focus on working this side and it feels really nice. And their head's just kind of leaning on your hand so they're relaxed. And then you can go ahead and have them turn it this side and then work this one. kind of sliding up that back of the neck. And there you have it. I really hope you enjoyed watching these advanced facial massage techniques and really hope you're excited to bring it into the treatment room. Now, before you do, a couple things to consider. Please make sure that your client is not contraindicated for massage or especially this type of massage. This type of massage is very stimulating. So if they have sensitive skin or even rosacea, this is not the best massage for that client. This is also not gonna be the best for inflamed acne or crazy acneic skin because of the fact that it may be a little bit uncomfortable for the client or possibly spread bacteria. Last but not least, if they have any uncontrolled hypertension or high blood pressure or even uncontrolled diabetes, this is something that would not be best suited for those types of clients. So make sure that you check your contraindications and do a thorough consultation for your client. Thank you.